just a second. Psycho. Hello. How are you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? It's been a while since I did ASMR. Not that long, but it feels long because I skipped the last one. I can't. I can't find a good placement for myself on the screen. I don't know where I should be. I should be like here, just peering from the side. Welcome. I'm sick, not terribly sick, but a cough and plum. 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 I, I, I hope you get better, psycho. I'm... Oh my god, the, you can hear every skip of the mouse wheel. I completely forgot that this mouse has this thingy where you can, like, unlock the mouse wheel. <laughs> we can do free zoom in. Yay! Yay! Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> this is flying up the rails already. Okay, there we go. It should be fine. It should be fine. Ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. I have to be very careful because I turned up the sensitivity more than usual just for just for curiosity's sake. I wonder how that would play with, um, without having a windscreen on. I'm not much of a blower, I don't think. I think when I talk, I don't, I don't blow that much. I mean, I guess that's subjective. That was a joke. Not the, not the objectiveness part, though. Bum, 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 bum. I haven't really planned anything safe cracking. <laughs> it does sound like that, doesn't it? Epilepsy warning. Shiny, shiny chesticles on screen. Just make myself huge. It's just gonna be chest stream. Okay, let's just do, do it like this. I 
I do hope that the compressor is doing its, its, its thing. Well, that's really... Because a lot of people think that the compre compressor is the thing that stops things from popping. It's the limiter, not the compressor. Compressor just brings the low, um, low sounds up to, like, the, like, the selected minimum. So everything kind of sounds similar. It does, it does take down, like, the highs to, towards them. The words the selected like range as well, but it doesn't limit the maximum. I only know about gates. Oh yeah, gates are also confusing. Well, like I guess it depends on what kind of gates you mean. Like do you mean like EQ? Gates, as in like low passes and high passes, because that always tricked me up. Because a low pass, um, a low pass basically works on the high sounds, high frequencies, and the high pass works on the low frequencies. Which, if you know why it's called a pass, it makes sense. But if you don't at first. It's just, it's just confusing. It's just confusing. There's so many unwanted sounds. So many unwanted sounds. You know what's funny? The tracking software doesn't work when it only sees my eyes. It has to see my nose as well. I don't know why that is. I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea why it requires my nose. Also, I didn't announce the stream on Twitter again. Cause like, why bother? Sorry about that. I... I thought that my PCs... Because one of the fans in my PC is very, very loud. And I thought it was the one from the CPU. But it wasn't. Turns out it wasn't because I replaced it. And... Uh, yeah, it's still it still sometimes becomes loud for no apparent reason. So now I'm basically on the hunt to find which one it is. And I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea. As I should probably turn off a certain option that keeps running and which I shouldn't be using because it's... What? Why doesn't it work now? Okay, there we go. So, I've been using this thing that transfers the lightning, lightning, lighting parameters from one screen to the model. And what happens is uh, when you don't have anything interesting just like the model on it. <laughs> okay, let me turn it off. There we go. Because it eats a lot of um, GPU. There we go. Because I'm black one by one till it no longer triggers. Thing is, I can't. Because, like, I have um, three, um, three fans in front, and they are connected in serial, they have one cable. So if it's one of those, I'm I'm screwed. I'd have to just cut off one of them, basically. <sighs> but 
they think it might be the one in the back. Or if it's worse, it could be the one from, um, from the PSU, which would also be a pain in the ass because that one is irreplaceable. So I would just have to get a new PSU, which I don't want to do because I can't afford it. Because <laughs> that's a lot of monies. It might not be the, the most important, well, not the most expensive part, but it is a part that costs money still. So. Gotta start dusting. I actually dusted it uh, when I was putting in the new processor and memory and it wasn't even that dirty it wasn't it really really wasn't so I was kind of surprised and turns out I have pretty good airflow in there because I have like a come to think of it I have like um one four five six fans inside not counting the, the graphics card. So, all in all, it's like eight fans inside of there. So, it is pretty, it is pretty windy inside. But I am considering switching to um, water cold. If I, um, if it turns out that it's a cooling on the CPU that's making the noise. I, I will switch to water cooling, but if it isn't, then I don't know what to do. I don't know. See, my problem is that my PC buzzes when I play games for some reason. I ignore it by putting on headphones. Oh, I think I know. Uh, wait, but do you mean like the speakers? There's like buzz in the speakers? Or like your... Um, there's like buzzing in your case, in your PC case. Because the buzzing in the PC case is what's getting to me, what's happening to me. It comes from the tower. Yeah, so that's the same thing that's happening to me. It's something is vibrating when the fans turn on. And I don't know if it's the fans themselves. Or is there some some element that's like hitting against the case in some way? I uh, yeah, I think to diagnose it, I will just have to uh, take off both of the sides from the from the PC. Well, I think I just have to take one off, really. Because the, the other one is glass and there's nothing touching it, so I'm pretty sure that it's not coming from the glass. So, my guess is some part, like some connector or something, is touching the case. And when it starts vibrating, when it starts vibrating, because of, you know, use, it might, it might be just, uh, it might be it might be just hitting on the wall. Ba, 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 ba. It's odd because it gets louder when I type on my keyboard. Oh, that's weird. That's weird. Cause I do get this buzz in my speakers when I use my mouse. When I move my mouse, you can kind of hear like this slight buzzing noise. And that's just something that I have to basically live with. Because in order to um, to remove this, you would have to you would have to use like special um, like special materials to basically fully electromagnetically isolate components in your PC. And that's just not gonna happen. That's just not gonna happen. Hello, Brett. Hello, Brett. This time you 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 hit the right right time to to redeem the I E I E. Earbites.
first, but yeah, yeah, because I was yawning. I was yawning, and I was like, I can't waste a yawn, right? I'm gonna mask it as a bite. It was, it was deceitful. The trick by a yawn 360 into a bite. <laughs> 360 no scope bite. <laughs> oh my god, I'm getting dizzy. Ooh, ooh. Don't do that, Elf. You're too old for this. Oh, hello, Liv. Hello. How are you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? I'm okay. How are you? I'm mediocre. <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm mid. Today I'm feeling very mid. When I came back from work, I was listening to music for, um, let me count, around seven hours. I've been listening to music for seven hours. Yeah, and nothing else. Maybe just um, browsing the internet a little. But otherwise, it was just uh, straight up listening to music. Oh, and singing along to it as well. <laughs> uh, luckily, my my brother uh, didn't come back home, so... Um, and... Uh, well, I, at least I get a chance to to sing along a little without getting embarrassed. Hello, Pepino. Hello, hello, hello. How are you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? Karaoke stream went never. Never, there's never gonna be a karaoke stream. I'm too shy. I'm too shy to sing in front of people. I can't, I can't do it. I can't do it. Oh goodness, oh my god, Lev, thank you so much for the reset, but can I remind you that this is the last month that I will be streaming? Guys, if, if you're if you're gonna unsubscribe, please do it this month, so it doesn't resubscribe you next month when I'm gone, okay? Please, please, please. But thank you for the support. Then 
then you can just sing super, super shy. What, what do you mean? What, what do you mean? If, so if I, if I'm shy about singing, I'm supposed to sing shyly. Okay. Okay. Sure. 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 Scratches later. Okay. <sighs> I'm yawning a lot because. Oh my gosh. Oh, Super Shy is a K pop. I wouldn't know that. I. Uh, I don't know anything about K pop except for the fact that. K-pop fans uh, will uh, rip your throat out. I'm this tired. Yeah, I've only had two days off in the last three weeks, basically because I had a funeral. I I had to ask my coworker to take my Saturday, and I have to. I was. I was working last Saturday and I will be working this Saturday as well. I'm really freaking tired. And um, I will be even more tired next week, so look forward to that. Scratches. What could I do for. What could, what could I use for scratches? Today's scratches are gonna be a little deeper because I turned on, well, I almost maxed out my sensitivity. So. <laughs> We're going in deep. Going in balls deep. Well, n what? No, not bull. I have very weird images in my head right now. <laughs> I have very weird images in my head right now. Oh, it's a, uh, it's a. It's a, it's a video that I saw, it was like a hentai video that I saw. And um, it did involve ears, and it did involve balls deep, but I will not elaborate further, I will leave that to your imagination. I want to unsee it now. But I've seen so many things on the internet that nothing faces me anymore. Look into my eyes. I am empty inside. I saw everything. The secrets of the universe are already known to me. I've been everywhere. I've seen everything. I've been around long enough not to dig deeper. <laughs> I sincerely hope there is no... There is no tag for it. But I'm sure there is. And it probably sounds like... Um, like a certain type of meme where you would watch a video and suddenly the sound would go like deep fried and loud. Do you guys remember what those were called? 
Oh, that's probably the tag for it as well. <sighs> there is no saving me. I'm sure that I've almost seen anything there is to see. Yeah, for me at least, if it's uh, if it's hentai, because I'm I I'm really not interested in like IRL stuff. But when it comes to um, uh, hello, Fanzi, hello, we were not talking about hentai at all. This is a um, Christian Christian uh, channel. Can't you see? Um, I'm a Christian elf. I'm a Christian elf. My name is Christian Elf. So <laughs> no! Oh my god! Oh my god! Fantasy will lose all the semblance of respect that he had for me. For me, it's everything. I hate my friends. <laughs> oh, I did see some messed up stuff when I was younger. When I was like um, 14, 15. Because uh, my cousin would bring like weird stuff that his friends downloaded from the internet. And I, did, I didn't want to watch most of it. Damn, Pepino, no. Yeah, that's the sort of stuff that I was absolutely not interested in. It was traumatizing. The thing, the only saving grace was that because it was like the. I suppose it was like. Like very early 2000s. It was all in. Uh, 240p so you couldn't really see what was happening I can only imagine what sort of messed up stuff people watch now and you know what I really don't want to imagine I'm good I'm good with just my hentai oh my god sorry about that You want to hear someone scream in pain? No, you don't want that. Exactly. Exactly. Remember there were whole websites dedicated to a single fucked up video. People would just casually send it to each Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, I remember that. I, I remember Goatsy. Goatsy was the only one I saw, I think, from those websites. And... Uh, <laughs> just... <laughs> that's, that's the only sound I can make when I remember. Let me switch to a different tool. Let me be happy with my 10 lines, Monster Girls. Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Probably need a therapist in the future because of the internet. <laughs> yeah. I mean, surprisingly, most of my tastes in hentai aren't really that outlandish. Why am I suddenly talking about my taste in hentai? What I mean, like, is, um, I... Uh, if you really have to know, you can just go into my likes on my Twitter. I, I don't even keep a separate account for... <laughs> God. Some, someday someone is gonna go through my likes. Is gonna expose me. Listen, we're all guys and live 
here. <laughs> yeah, live, live, live. Uh, doesn't doesn't count because live, live is very um, well acquainted with uh, the H scene. <laughs> live is very saisoned. <laughs> Exactly. Liv is um, an enthusiast of drawing Signor Pignor. I think about that shit, I probably can sleep today again. No! Listen, we're doing a cleansing ritual now, okay? We're just thinking about Big Booba anime girls, okay? And elf girls in maid outfits. And elf girls in uh, cow print bikinis. And uh, elf girls without bikinis, too. <laughs> My second cosplay of it was with a Bible black uniform. <laughs> oh gosh. <sighs> it's the duality of goth and strong women for me. No. Okay, big boobs and maid outfits and no clothes. Wait. What? <laughs> I mean, like a, a mix, a mix. Some of them in clothing, some, some without. It's all good. It's all good. All anime girls are, are good. What was a good H series? Very detailed body parts. Uh, Bible Black was. Wait, was Bible Black uncensored? I don't remember. I actually don't remember. It was okay. So it's like before they, uh, before they applied the the law to anime. Lord help me if there there's a strong goth woman. <laughs> Going to pull asleep very well. That's good, that's good. That's good. That's how it should be. I think I have a... Oh, why am I zooming in? Why am I zooming in? I didn't click on the screen. There we go. I have like a... Oh, that's a rat. Is that one? No. I swear I had a, I had an elf girl somewhere. No, that's a bike. That's Kuyo. Mm. That's an elf. And that's a Mary. That's a rat. That's a drinking rat. <laughs> that's my old uh, phone case. That's emote from from Liv. Uh, that's the red receiver. Oh my gosh, I have so many old stuff on here. Mm. What's this? Oh, it's me. Oh, I have old Shady. And I have Liv. <laughs> Liv, do you remember this? <laughs> you remember this atrocity? were simpler times. There's so many dedicated rat buttons. Oh yeah. Mm. No, I don't think I have it anymore. Because I had a... I, I thought I had like an image for... Um, 
for the figurine that we watched last time. But I might... Oh no. No, no, no. I don't have it because we watched it through a browser. I didn't save the image. Too bad. Too bad. That's where you also made Goya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had like a whole series. It's also where one of my um, like long time followers decided to leave because I drew drew their OC in such a bad way that <laughs> actually hurt their feelings. Those were the days. Those were the days when the elf was hurting people. Now I can't even do that. Come on. What kind of elf am I if I can't break a heart or two? Pop and Veyer, tell us Polish bedtime stories. Um, I don't know any, however. And there is a saying... And there's something that you say to children if they don't um, go asleep. There's, there's a couple of ways to scare children. There's like, uh, you can tell them that a spider is gonna drag them behind, um, behind the painting. That's weird to say. But I mean, do you know how you hang like paintings on the walls? That's 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 the meaning behind it. It's it's confusing. I know. There's also Baba Yaga, you know, no, the the infamous Baba Yaga. Keep your feet under your sheets, or a monster will smell your feet. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> That's bad. That's bad. I'm going to make an fire shrine. Oh gosh. <laughs> no. And pray for good sleep every day. <laughs> I'm insane. I'm insane. Too bad I don't have a figurine of, of elf. That would be nice. Figurine of elf? Can you imagine? Psycho, no jars, please. <laughs> I keep my jar on the desk. I don't know what that tells you about me, but there you go. <laughs> it's empty, though. It's empty, look. I'm, well, you can see it, but I can shake it. It's empty. Nothing inside. Okay? So before you start thinking thoughts, don't. Okay? There's nothing inside. Yet. I mean, there's n never gonna be anything inside. story I'm throwing up oh no oh no oh no I said 
suppose I can tell you a story from my life, if you guys want. Uh, three myself the jar joke. Oh my god! Do you mean? Don't tell me it's the, it's the it's it's the famous jar story. That would be horrid. Because now you made me think about the shoebox story from the internet. Jolly Ran Ranchers. Uh, I I don't know what it is, but I don't really want to think about that. I'm good. <laughs> I think I'm good. Oh no. I'm guessing that Jolly Ranchers weren't so jolly after the fact. Oh no, the cocoa nut, no. The cocoa nut, no. Oh my god, I haven't heard the melon one, but oh gosh. <laughs> I'm giving, getting shivers. And they're not from the ASMR. have thalassophobia I'm I don't think I do actually I'm I'm more scared of like the idea that say you put me in the ocean and I would feel uncomfortable about the fact that there's some things like there's empty space underneath me that goes on forever. Like the empty space, which, well, it's it's not necessarily empty, but, you know, the space is, uh, is just uh, unknowable for me. That's what scares me. But I'm also scared of large containers. That's the weirdest fear I have, so there you go. I wouldn't say so, but you wouldn't catch me in the open ocean. Uh, me too, probably. I haven't swam. I haven't swum in such a long time that I don't know if I even remember how to. Chocolate? Chocolate. 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 Now I hear chuck, chuck, chuck it, chuck, chuck all it, chuck all it, chuck all it. Chocolate, 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 chocolate. Now I hear jackalate. What? What? Chocolate, 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 chocolate. Chuck, 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 chocolate, chocolate, chuck, 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 chocolate, chocolate, chuck, 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 chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Sometimes 
get creeped out even when I go into like Wikipedia and like check musical instruments and I see like a large musical instrument that's empty inside but it's covered so you can't see what's inside and that scares me I feel uncomfortable looking at it well I get to go have a nice dream everyone thank you so much psycho have a great night bye 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 pops okay This elf can pop. None of those anemic. Oh. No, this is the real deal. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is really loud. <laughs> These lips are made for popping. There's no ulterior motive going on there. Behind the scenes. None. So my stomach hurts. My diet is horrible. Like downright atrocious. I um ouch. I actually ate like I ate the same um pasta all week. The same exact pasta five days in a row. And um, then I ate like a because uh, my my daily routine is I drink coffee when I wake up, and I go to work and I drink another coffee. <laughs> and that's my breakfast. So then I eat the pasta, and then I go back home. And I either eat like very spicy um, noodles, like those instant noodles, or um, yesterday and today I've been eating like those sausage bites. I don't know how to explain this because they're like a Polish thing. Um, have you heard of a kabanos? They're like dried sort of sausage thing but they're kind of small and recently they released ones that are in like bite-sized pieces and they're filled with um um one of the spicy uh spicy peppers i think it was uh, the scorpion yeah the scorpion pepper It's pretty good. Please send the 
Krankenwagen. Then where? What's a, what's a Krankenwagen? Is it a wagon that you kranken? Ambulance, okay, 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 okay. And do you know how it how ambulance is in Polish? Ambulance. <laughs> no, okay, we have a separate word as well, but um ambulance is, is used a lot as well. But it's more like a specialist uh phrase. Uh, I, I guess in Polish you can say uh, karetka. Karetka, 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 karetka. Polish lessons with Elf. Fanzi, I have a question for you. What would be your um what would be your your choice dish to make me if you if you got a got a chance to do that? <laughs> Cześć, nazywam się Pepino. Mm. That's pretty nicely translated. Is it in Google Translate or DeepL? Though, to be fair, Google Translate has gotten a lot better than it was. Because it used to be horrendous. <clears throat> uh, what don't you like? I don't like green peas. I don't like beef unless it's minced i don't like um pork i don't like dark chicken meat and any other meat apart from uh white chicken meat <laughs> i suppose <laughs> what do you like um i like pasta i like cheese i like uh, I suppose. Hmm. <laughs> oh, that's enough, that's enough. to tell you guys I'm a really big fan of cheese whenever I fantasize about like you know living in Japan or whatever which is not often but I would lie if I, I said it didn't happen um, I always I always crash when I realize that oh wait they don't really have cheese there and if they do it's extremely expensive and their own cheese is usually pretty meh. And that's a that's a very big downer. Cause I'm a huge cheese fan. Not like a not like a oh I like cheese. No. I'm like I fucking love cheese. <laughs> when I was younger, we used to buy like this um loaf of cheese. That was like the size of a loaf of bread. And I would just cut like three, four centimeter slices of it. And sometimes I would put ketchup on it. Sometimes I didn't. And I would just eat it like that. In, in thick slices of cheese. 
Nie to tolerancja laktozy. Oh no! Lactose intolerant. No, that's pain. That's pain. That is pain. Oven cooked chicken with a special sauce made with soy sauce and orange plus certain spices. Coming accompanied by broccoli. Also made in the oven, covered with a creamy onion sauce and grated cheese. Oh, the broccoli. <laughs> I didn't mention it. But I don't like broccoli. But apart from that, yeah. I suppose you could replace broccoli with, um, with, uh, what's the, what's the other thing called in English? Um, it's very similar to broccoli, but it doesn't have this, um, cauliflower. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cauliflower is, is alright. It's not as stinky. But the taste is pretty similar, because I, I did eat broccoli. It's just, just a smell. It gets to me. Well, to be fair, um, cauliflower also has like this farty smell. But it's not as bad as broccoli. So you get the veggies and the protein. Yeah, that is something that I would definitely eat. Veggies. To be fair, there's not many chances for me to eat um, vegetables overall. You know, homemade burgers with minced meat. Oh, that sounds great. That sounds great. Oh, speaking of which, um, like two weeks ago. I went to like a bakery because a bakery opened up um, fairly close to my house, um, which is pretty crazy. I never expected to have a bakery anywhere nearby. <laughs> and um, well, it's not like next to my house or anything. It's it's still like a like a ten minute drive, five ten minute drive, something like that. But um, I went there, and it's a it's a pretty good bakery. We we buy a lot of stuff there, and it's pretty good. And um, there's always a line, which is a good sign that the bakery is a uh, is good. <laughs> it's a telltale sign, and uh, the bakery is good when there's always a line in there. And they decided to add an option to order like meals as well so you can eat stuff um there so we actually went there we bought pizza once um and the pizza was really good i was really surprised that the bakery of all places did like a made like a really good pizza um, i mean the pie is a given right it's a bakery <laughs> And, um, like the sauce and the ingredients, everything was really good. Thing is, thing is, next time I went there, um, I bought, because they had a burger on their menu. And, um, it was horrible. You could taste that the meat was, like, unfrozen right before they, uh, they cooked it and served it was like tasteless and the worst thing it's a freaking bakery and the bun wasn't fresh when I bit into it it was fucking chewy and I had to fight with the bun and I was very angry because it was kind of not cheap it wasn't like you know expensive or anything but 
it wasn't like a cheap dish. Or fried noodles with fried garlic and um, salted peppered prawns. Oh no, no seafood, no. I, I, I don't know why, like the taste of sea is just probably because I, I wasn't born near any sort of body of water, so I never ate um, seafood. So I don't really have, like, my for my palate, it's just too fishy. Everything tastes the same for me when it comes to fishy food. Like, what the heck? Steam, come on. Steam, come on. Are you, are you seriously gonna tell me that there's a sale going on? Mid ASMR stream. Are you serious? Are you serious? Are you for real, for real? <laughs> Scratch the seafood. Picky either, I see. I'm not that picky. But I am picky. <laughs> there's just a lot of things that I haven't eaten yet and there's a lot of flavors that I don't really vibe with that much like for example I like sushi but I don't care for fish <laughs> I know, that's, that's like, what? What do you mean? What? Like, I will eat sushi with fish. But I actually prefer vegetable sushi. Like, taste-wise. Like, for fish, tastes to me like, like, raw fish tastes to me like, like salty water. Like, stale salty water. In jelly form. It's just nothing. Salty nothing. And that's how I feel about most seafood. My palate is just not used to it. Oops. I ate crabs three weeks ago for the first time in Egypt. Oh. Was it good? Rotuna goes so hard. I, I don't know. I probably wouldn't even be able to tell. I mean, I would be able to tell by the color. <laughs> Obviously, but I I don't know. I've, I've eaten a lot of different fishes in my sushi. And I just, I just didn't take note of any particular flavor. <laughs> There was not too much crab in the crab. <laughs> oh no! You get cheated out of the crab. Uh, I would like to go to like a like a like a bonafide Japanese sushi restaurant and maybe eat like sashimi because I haven't eaten sashimi yet and that's like the truest form to taste and I feel maybe then I could like discern the flavor because I usually eat maki and you know how maki are there's there's like different kinds and you mix them up and you eat like one after the other and <sighs> crabless crab <laughs> it's like those um crab sticks which are actually um What's the name for it? I always forget. Surimi. Which uh, are not crab. <laughs> crab sticks that don't contain crab. 
<laughs> Crabble is crap, yeah. <laughs> but I could eat unlimited really salty, oh my gosh. In Osaka they had this small place that sold giant pieces of crab on the stick. It was great. Oh man. Surimi is the canned tuna of crab, but even worse, yeah, because it's not crab. <laughs> it's like, um, it's like what spam is for uh, chicken, <laughs> which is, it's just not chicken. <laughs> uh, and it's very, uh, very highly processed. Yeah, Surimi is basically like fish spam <laughs> with some food coloring. It does have some uses though. It does have some uses. It's mostly filler though. It's like a cheap way to add color to a thing that you made. And if you want to add like a fishy taste to it without actually adding fish. <laughs> That's so depressing. It's like depression food. First time I had non canned tuna, I was flabbergasted. Is it good? Mm. I, I do know that I do like a canned tuna. I haven't eaten uncanned tuna, so... Well, I probably did, I just don't remember. Louis, okay. Oh, also guys, I'm gonna give you a hot take. Well, it's not a hot take, it's just my 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 flavor, um, my taste buds are probably broken because I really, really like my mayonnaise. I know a lot of people go like, ooh, ooh, when they hear mayonnaise. I love mayonnaise. I like the mix of canned tuna and mayonnaise. I like the mix of cheese and mayonnaise. I like just mayonnaise, just straight mayonnaise. I I I just like it. Like when I see I I always I'm always surprised when I see people say like oh like oh as a punishment you will have to eat like a spoonful of mayonnaise and they go like no i'm gonna puke and they uh, and they eat it on camera on youtube and go like ooh, 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 and everyone's laughing and clapping and weird faces and there there's uh, reaction faces everywhere and and red arrows and did you see it closely you might miss it you know and honestly I don't care. I could eat a spoon of mayonnaise. I don't care. Especially if it's like freaking Kewpie. <gasps> I fucking love it. I fucking love Japanese mayonnaise. It's so good. It's not as like... Um, it's not as sweet as Polish mayonnaise. But it's like very creamy. And pleasant. Cheese and mayonnaise? As a French person, I'm offended. <laughs> I sometimes do like, um, uh, I used to do like, uh, sandwiches where, where I would just cover the, instead of using butter, I would use may mayo and then I would put like a slice of sharp cheese on top. Like, uh, I suppose I usually use like, um, uh, 
uh, oh my god, em em Emmental cheese, that sort of thing. I, I really like those. The French took Elioli, mm -mm. Elioli first place, mayo, mustard, ketchup, pink sauce. What is pink sauce? <laughs> And alioli is basically like mayo and ketchup, right? <laughs> or something like that. The French took alioli. We're two cowards. We're two cowards to enjoy the garlic in it. Took it away and made mayo. Oh. Oh, that's pink sauce. You don't like pink sauce? Garlic and oil? Oh, I... I... I've... Um, I've... Honestly... Anytime I got... Uh, alioli sauce... How do you read it? It's like weird... It, it's it. You don't read the L. I think it's like, I I I don't remember. But it doesn't doesn't matter. You do, L, alioli. <laughs> it's it's I don't know, alioli. Okay. Cause like um, hello NP, hello hello hello. Cause I've I've seen people make this sauce and it's like. Maybe it's just been appropriated. Maybe it's just been appropriated. And now. Uh, I've never done mayo myself. Oh. I, I've never done my done it myself either. It's really difficult to do, apparently. <laughs> it's just the rest of the only very strictly. <laughs> but what? I, I I can't believe that you put a pink sauce in the last place. Honestly, I love pink sauce. If you add like really good quality ketchup and mix it with good quality mayo, that's really freaking good. And I usually add like um, some like uh, oregano. It's really good. Oregano. I think that's how you say it. Oregano. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Italian people. Consider good quality mayo and ketchup. Um, I would say like there's no such thing as good quality ketchup. What do you mean? There is. There is. There's so many different kinds of ketchups, and some of them are really good. Recently in Poland, we have like this company that used to make like the cheapest shit ketchup. And they started doing like those kind of um, exquisite <laughs> sort of ketchups. Um, the the company is called Roleski, and they uh, they used to make like this really cheapo thing that just tasted like slightly slightly peppery um, sugar water <laughs> with some tomato sauce in it, and now they they make like really really good 
um, oh, Tortex is, is like the, <laughs> it's, it's like the new old Roleski. Because now, now they make like this craft ketchup kind of. And it's so good. It has so many tomatoes. It almost tastes like um, homemade ketchup. It's really good. It's not for everyone. Because it's, it's a bit of an acquired taste. But it's, it's for me it's like, ah, really good. And for mayo... Should I feel offended? No! <laughs> I, there is some sort of weird charm to those cheap, cheapo ketchups that don't really have any tomatoes in them. Um, like, it, it takes me back to the times where I used to, uh, or when we would go out and like, um, start like a campfire and we would, uh, bring like those cheapo sausages and we would like, uh, you know, eat them with that cheap ketchup and like, uh, like, uh, two day old stale bread. <laughs> and then once the fire went out, we would throw in, uh, like potatoes into the ashes. Oh, I freaking love ash-baked potatoes. Have you guys eaten ash-baked potatoes? Freaking, oh. My record was I ate 10. Oh, and for mayo, um, the best mayo is probably QP, but that's Japanese and it's expensive, so I would, otherwise I would go for like, uh, Hellmann's or, uh, yeah, that's probably, that would probably be my, my go-to. I don't know if Hellmann's is, is available outside of Poland. Probably, possibly, I don't know. Oh yeah, it is, it is, okay, because I see that <laughs> Fancy mentioned it. Okay. I don't like it to me, it's only good with prawns, the pink sauce, I mean. Oh, okay. I used to make like, um, um, guys, I mentioned cabanos earlier, right? They're like long, dried sausages. And I would make a bowl, not like a huge bowl, but like a sauce bowl of um, pink sauce and the whole pack of cabanose. And I would turn on Netflix and just eat cabanoses with pink sauce. <laughs> Thank you so much for the follow silently. Enjoy your stay. Belgium has a lot of different fry sauces. Oh, that kind of makes sense, right? Right? That's like the country of fries. Not friends. Funnily enough, despite Americans calling them French fries. Actually, in Poland, when you go to like, um, like, um, uh, how do you call them? Like those food trucks and they sell burgers, they usually have Belgian fries. They're specifically, specifically called that. Well, fries are from, fr I don't think they are. I, I'm pretty sure that I saw that debunked. Mm. 
But I, either way, I, I love Belgian fries. They're like thicker, they're like more crispy. I, I, I love them. I love them. Your bites? Okay, okay. So I'm back. Had to say my pookie goodnight. Oh. guy. Funny coincidence, huh? <laughs> oh my gosh. Is it Belgian fries or fry French fries? Now that's the real thing. In Poland, we just call them fritki. So, who cares? <laughs> Ultimately, who cares? You're French? Okay. I thought it was like a similar story to like the Hawaiian pizza. That wasn't Hawaiian. friend to me all fries are good well except like the, the ones made the British way do you guys have you guys seen how the Brits prepare fries like what is that it's a floppy potato and no disrespect to to brits but what the fuck is wrong with your fries <laughs> they they're like flaccid get give the boys viagra because they're not they're not at their best guys they they need some help there <laughs> <laughs> May I get some good night bites before I skedaddle to Greenland? Okay, okay. in France or in the north, close to Belgium, big overlap in culture in these parts, and Wallonia for obvious reasons. When it comes to fried stuff, Polish cuisine is kind of lacking. Um, I think the only, well, the only thing that really comes to mind is like, um, oh, my brother is back. Um, it's like, um, how do you even call them? Uh, they're like, I think they are made in other countries as well, but they're like, um, kind of like pancakes, but they are made with, uh, with potatoes. 
Oh, pierogi. Yeah, pierogi are are quite quite the thing in Poland. Um, I actually made pierogi uh, <laughs> like uh, on Christmas, so fairly recently. Potato cake. I don't think we ever made potato cake. But they're like. I'm I'm sure there is a name for that in English. I I don't know what it is. Cause I I think I saw someone make those, but they were called something different, and probably French because most cooked things are called in French <laughs> for whatever reason. I don't know. On the visit Poland sometimes. It's it's an all right country to visit, I think, if you go to like to the tourist locations, because outside of those there's really not that much to see. The like the overall look of the country is quite bland. We don't have unless you go to like the hilly regions. Um, everything is freaking flat, and like it's 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 not like in say Japan where you leave the city, you uh, climb onto the nearest um, like hill, and you can take a picture and it's gonna look beautiful. In Poland, it's like usually just eh, eh. You leave the city, live, leave the city. And it's just gonna look like nothing. It's gonna be flat lands, um, like phone cables everywhere and phone poles. Probably like a cro crooked um, street sign or something. And maybe a trunk somewhere. <laughs> But yeah, if you go to the touristy locations, they're pretty good. They're pretty good. We're seeing. <laughs> this sounds like an authentic DM experience. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just just don't really leave the main cities and it's gonna look pretty good. If you if you leave the main cities then it's just, it's just gonna, it's just gonna show you where we are technologically and socially and economically. <laughs> you know? It's not as bad as some countries, but it is kind of... I hear Krakow has a lot of cool touristy stuff. Yeah, I've been there twice. I've been there twice. Um, once I actually managed to um, visit a couple of places and eat some stuff. It was pretty nice. Uh, the next time, uh, the second time I went was with my band and we basically just went there. We played a concert um, and <laughs> we basically ran through the city, and that was as much sightseeing as I was able to do, because we really didn't have time and we had to go back. So it was pretty depressing. We ran back to the hotel hotel room. Uh, we went to. I think we ended up not going to sleep. Or did we? No, we did go to sleep, but we left the first thing in the morning. I have so many stories from shitty hotels that we stay at, but that's not really advice that I would give. Don't stay at shitty hotels. <laughs> There's a story that I, I think I told you guys, well, I don't know if you, if I told you guys, but I did tell it on stream a long time ago. Um, 
we went, I think it was actually when we went to Krakow or Kraków, Dawna Stolica Polaków. Um, and we, uh, we actually, I actually was in charge of renting the rooms and it was always the thing that I did. Because I was the most picky one among the people, so I was in charge of uh, choosing so I wouldn't complain. And um, I found a place that was pretty, pretty cheap. Surprisingly cheap, considering how close it was to the place where we were supposed to play. And so I rented it. Uh, I saw the name. The name was White Star. And I didn't think much of it. And then we went to Kraków. And we went to the place where we were supposed to stay. And the entrance was through a gym. The entrance to the hotel was through a gym. <laughs> that was the third, like, first thing that kind of ticked me off. And then I started remembering that on our way there, we saw people wearing, like, scarves, colored scarves. And I think I saw the white star sprayed onto the walls on our way there. And then I started thinking, oh wait, my co-worker told me that there's like this song that one of the football clubs has, and it goes like, Yazda Yazda Biawa Gwiazda, like Go Go White Star. Oh no. The realization came and... um yeah, it was a hotel dedicated for uh, the fans of the football club, of the local football club, of the football team, I should say. <laughs> and the gym was packed full with people with no necks, you know, those, those kind of... Um, you know the kind of guys that would walk up to you and ask you what team are you for you know and it, there's there's only two answers the the right answers and the you're gonna get fucked up answer you know <laughs> But yeah, thankfully no one bothered us. We just went in there. Uh, we went into our rooms. The rooms smelled like they were fucking made of cigarettes. <laughs> like the smoke detector was covered in a bag, so it wouldn't um, so it wouldn't activate while they were smoking in the room. <laughs> The walls were like yellowed because of all the smoke. There were like curse words scraped onto the beds. Like like the how do you call them? Like the mm, the thing you you have on the bed to to stop your pillow from falling off. Um, you know what I mean. It was all covered in like signs and and the uh, swear words and stuff. And the funniest thing was when it was when we went to play the gig and we were on our way back and we were supposed to sleep. And before bed, we wanted to take a shower. Um, I went to my shower, because there was like this separated section. Luckily, at least they separated the shower from the main room. <laughs> and um, um, 
the shower, when I walked in, like, when I looked down, there was a lot of, like, pieces of something inside of the shower. It was, like, all covered in, like, moldy pieces of something. I was like, what the, what the hell is this? I was like, there's no way I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a shower in this place. And then I looked up. And I realized what the th stuff in the shower was. The the ceiling um, probably collapsed because there was like a huge hole in the ceiling. Uh, it's probably like from the moisture. It was all moldy and there was like a huge kind of bubble that formed. And the bubble like burst. And all the junk from underneath the ceiling like fell down into the like the shower. Yeah, let's just say that I I went to bed stinky. I didn't. I that was better than taking a shower in there. And also, they were supposed to be like, um, I was supposed to get a room with one bed, and the guys were supposed to get a room with two beds. We got two rooms, and both of them had four beds. So, <laughs> it was a weird place. It was a very weird place. Yeah, luckily it didn't go in a very weird direction, because like, white stars... It it does have a it does have a weird connotation to it. I wouldn't blame you if you thought that it was like some sort of um, slightly illegal organization. Luckily, it was just just a. Uh, uh, soccer team logo. The squeaks. Oh, the squeaks, the squeaks, so many squeaks, so many squeaks in the background, so many squeaks. Okay, guys, I, I think, I think the ASMR turned into something, something else tonight. <laughs> it's more storytelling than actual ASMR. <laughs> That's fine. It's fine. It's fine, it's all good. It's all good. Shut the ASMR, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. I think I'll call it here. Um, normally, I would try to push it towards the two hour. Uh, you know? Time. I, I can't speak English anymore, but um, I'm really, really tired, and I have work tomorrow, so uh, also I'm laggy because I turn on Twitch, let me minimize it because it's gonna, it's gonna lag the whole screen, screen, stream, I can't talk, like I said, I'm tired, I'm tired, I have to go to bed. Scratchies and blowies. Okay, I'm gonna scratch a uh, stretch. Stretch. Uh, thank you for the stretch. <laughs> I'll give you some scratchies and we're gonna raid. Okay. Okay, guys. Let me actually prepare the raid first, so I didn't have to scramble to do it. Let me just. Let me just find. Linky link link. So I don't mess it up later. Let's go like that. 
mouse and type it in and I'll give you some scratchies and after the scratchies we're gonna go to bed guys gonna go to bed because you see I have work tomorrow again work tomorrow again second weekend in a row also my voice is kind of cracking because I've been singing for like four hours today I've been listening to music for like seven and singing for like four I should not be doing that it's not good for my voice it's not good especially before a stream where I talk all the time that's not a good combination I don't think what do you guys think? is it a good com combination? like absolutely wrecking your voice before you do a stream that's based on using your voice? yeah not the best right? not the best combination <laughs> Depends on what you like. I do like singing. I I I don't know if um if I like having a messed up voice on nice more streams. Cause that's kinda that's kinda a weird thing to have. If you like suffering that's good for oh no I don't. I don't like suffering. I'm just used to it. Don't, don't, don't misunderstand. Don't mistake familiar familiarity with, uh, you know. I need to ask this because I don't know. Maybe I'm the weird one. What is it with people going apeshit for armpits? I know that's coming from nowhere, but why are people into armpits now? That was never a thing. Why? When? How? What went wrong? Why? Why? Like I was I was watching Freedan and and it's a very wholesome show and everything. And it's like the 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 freaking least fan servicey show you can conceive. And and people are like <laughs> armpits <laughs> armpits <laughs> like what the fuck is wrong with you? Stop stop Guys, the fact that the character is holding a fucking spear up in the in the air, and that's why you can see the armpit, doesn't mean full surface, full surface. Stop, stop, get help, get help. <laughs> I just don't get it. Why is why is it like like I don't know. But I maybe I'm just not caught up with this because for me it's the same with feet what is sexy about feet I, I don't get it for me it's like being getting horny for seeing hands or or collar bones or ears or, or or whatever else it's I don't get it I really don't get it I can explain that please do if it will make any sense please do it's very old, like 10 years old. I don't know. I've been like, I've been like active in the anime community for years and years and years. I've been watching anime for like more than 20 years now. I know I'm dating myself, but I've been watching anime for more than 20 years. Feet is not about the feet themselves. It's about the idea of being dominated by the person. That's why the feet pics are usually from down under. I 
don't know because it seems like it's it's to the point where people just just w- whenever there's a there's a, a scene where any sort of quote unquote naked feet are visible they just go <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get it. I really don't. I always found like, if anything, I found like naked, like feet kind of. I don't know. I mean, I just so I explain myself. If you're into that, you do you. I, I, it doesn't bother me. I'm not gonna stop you in any way. I'm just surprised at how just like prevalent and like open it has become. Like, I I don't know. It's like certain kinds of certain kinds of fetishes, especially ones that don't actually contain nudity, have become extremely prevalent. Like. Armpits, um, oh, big mummy, uh, you know, like big muscly characters and female characters, especially, or like, um, feet. Those are like things that are not connected to really anything, you know, directly sexual. And they are extremely popular now. While at the same time, like, People saying, oh, nice boobs. Oh, fucking creep. Nice ass. Oh, you fucking creep. Thighs are okay, but say that you like the ass. Mm. Some people will look down on you. I don't get it. I don't understand what's going on. It's a weird turn that I just... I just don't get. I swear, armpits were super popular over 10 years ago. I... no. <laughs> they were not. They were not. I've been there. I watched it. They were not that popular. At least not to the extent that they are now. Compared to other things. When you watch a freaking show that's completely fan service free and you still get people who freaking, who freaking go apeshit for them? Just because they're shown in like a scene or two? Like what the hell, man? That's another level of horny, man. Yes, they were. I saw it. They might have, like, I'm not saying that it wasn't a thing at all, but it was nowhere near mainstream. It was nowhere near mainstream. Like feet, ten years ago, feet, um, mostly a meme. Um, they were feet people, of course, always happen. But a lot of the time, it was more like a meme. Now it's, now it's like, you almost feel like you're in the minority when you were not into feet. <laughs> Don't get it. You don't get it. How's there so many footsie people? And and so little booba people. Is it like I don't know anymore? I think I can't follow. I can't follow. I don't know what's going on anymore. I'm lost. I'm lost. Okay, guys, that's enough. That's enough. I think... I think that sudden rant came completely out of nowhere. But I just wanted to say that because it was something that 
really surprised me. <laughs> Kisses. Kisses. Okay. Okay, let me at least drink some beppies before I before I do that cuz my lips are uh, a bit dry. Water. I don't drink water. Horses drink water. I drink... I drink Pepsi. Horses drink water. Elves drink Pepsi. Not a sponsor. I drink... Drink... I don't have water. I don't have water and pee. I'm not good at kissing. <laughs> it turns into popping. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't. That's why when you when you use hydrate, it does not allow you to choose what I'm supposed to drink. It's either Pepsi or nothing. Actually, it's not Pepsi. It's Coca-Cola. <laughs> it's actually Coca-Cola. So I lied to you again. <laughs> I'm a liar and the thief. But I have a full bottle of Pepsi um, waiting for me once I'm done with the Coke. So there we go. Okay, guys, it's time for me to go. I hope you had a good time and I wish you a good night. And I will be going to work tomorrow absolutely dead and I'm gonna suffer for your entertainment. Have a great night and I hope to see you again. Uh, on Wednesday. Bye bye. Also, raid. Uh, raid messages. Uh, rat raid. If 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 you if you're taking part in the raid or you have the emote, just use the emote and we'll 